There you go. We could take that too, right? I mean, it's just amazing to see how good that team has been. And there is the ACC Player of the Year. Kyle Teal just hit one deep to dead center field to make it 2 nothing. And he is two for two with two runs scored in the championship. One, two. Got it. All right, now, that was an easy one. <laughs> Here's a fly ball again. Reed coming in from right. He'll have to hurry. And oh, my goodness. Geisler couldn't hang on to the over-the-shoulder catch. And Virginia's got to run in and get off. Here's the pitch. Gun toward right. If it's fair, it's trouble, and it is. Two runs are in. Stefan going to round second with a purpose. And he'll go to third with a two-run triple. Two outs and a two-run triple from Anthony Stefan. To right and down and headed to the corner. Reed is going to get there to cut it off. But two runs are in, and a double for O'Farrell and a couple of RBIs. One, two. Crushed to right. Reed going back, and it is gone. I mean, that's all you can see. This is a slider. He kept throwing it, kept throwing it. And this time, O'Donnell makes the ball. <laughs> to right, Reed going back. He will look up, and Anderson is hitting out of here. Tenth home run of the year for Ethan Anderson. He gets on the list of double-figure home run hitters. Yeah, looks like they're going to give him the belt, and there's going to be some water being thrown. Slugged into center, and that is caught on the line by DeLeo. Runner will tag and score. 2-2. Two -two. Curve to right. And coming on, Saki, and that'll do it. Virginia. Sees Angelo Despina hit a home run in the seventh, but that's it. That's the only run of the game for Georgia Tech. And the Cavaliers post their largest win in terms of margin at the ACC championship.